Hello everybody, Planet Walls here. Uh, we're about to start our round two match in the Classic Quarter Classic League Qualifier Tournament 2 featuring the Classic Invitational. We are playing against Blue Diamonds, whose deck is right here uh, in front of you. And um, what's he saying? Just use the challenge. Oh, well, sure. Um, so we're going to go ahead... <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to go ahead and create this match right now. Uh, I will not be using his deck. I'll be using my own. Um... I'm actually kind of nervous about playing against him. He's got a lot of powerful interactions and plays. Um, also, you have to pardon my... Oh, so it looks like he he did that first. Okay. Well, that's fine. There we go. So, anyway, um, what his deck is, it's an Oath variant. It's called Good Game Oath because it's got a Dragon Breath in there. Uh, that's kind of what I get nervous about. I'm definitely going to be playing first. Um... So this hand, we, we have uh, some options here. Having a Stifle, Brainstorm, two fetch lands, and then Mana Drain and Force Will. I'd say this is a pretty good hand against uh, his deck. Um, so I'm not going to be mulliganing this hand. Anyway, what I was saying was I have to keep my phone on right now. It might ring uh, because I'm currently switching cell phone services and they may call me. I know that sounds odd, but... You'll just have to take it for granted. Anyway, his deck, he's got a Blightsteel and a Grizzlebrand. No Emrakuls, which is interesting. Uh, also a Staff of Men, two Jaces or Threats. Need to worry about this balance, too. Fair number of counter spells, so he could mental mess up one of mine. I just talked so much I ran myself out of breath. Let's see. He's got a bunch of fetch lands, too. I think I'm going to stifle a fetch land if I have that opportunity. Oh man, that's so bad. Hmm. So I want to keep most of the cards in my hand. Um, what that means to me is that Brainstorm actually isn't very good right now. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to handle that. Stifle could just be basically like ruining one of his draws, which is pretty poor. Um... But it might be good later on for a Grizzle Brand activation or something else. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pop this. I might wait until my draw step to use Brainstorm or wait until uh, his turn. Basically because my hand is pretty good, I don't really want to um, put any of these cards back on top. You might be able to hear my wife having a conversation in the background with her mother about Game of Thrones. Um, hopefully there won't be any spoilers. I'll try to warn you if I hear spoilers. Okay, so it looks like my opponent isn't doing anything for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording. Okay, so we're back. Um, looks like our opponent was AFK for a little bit. Um, so we're definitely, I think, let's see, does he have any wastelands? He has a strip mine, no wastelands, so I see no reason not to find a non-basic here. Um, so we'll go ahead and find underground C. Doesn't really matter, though. Um... So I do have the opportunity of brainstorming here. Again, not sure it's optimal. I guess I would rather do it now than any other time. Um, uh, in the meantime, I uh, logged off and back on to see if it was my connection that had a problem. I think brainstorming now is right. Because the quality of my hand is good, I think using the tempo, um, basically not giving myself a tempo disadvantage by using brainstorming during my main phase, is probably the right idea. Uh, it means I only put one card for my hand back on the top of my deck, which I think is okay. Brainstorm does give me the advantage, though, potentially later on, of him giving me an opportunity to Oath a Frost Titan into play. If I can Brainstorm put the Frost Titan on top of my deck. I think that's unlikely, though. I think it's better to get a card out now and try to def basically depend on my counter magic. Though, one of the serious problems uh, right at the moment is that he's got a library on turn one out, which is extremely powerful especially in the draw. So, 
Um, essentially, he goes back up to eight cards no matter what, unless I stifle it, but that just does not seem to be the right idea. Um, okay, so it looks like uh, he came back, but uh, I guess he's still away from the keyboard, so I will pause this game and see you guys in a minute. Okay, so my opponent is back, and he's drawing a card at the end of his turn. Um, I think. Yes, that is what's happening. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let that... Uh, maybe I should brainstorm response. Yeah, okay. So what do I not really want to see again? I kind of think mana drains are good in this matchup, especially because I'll be able to play one next turn. Um, Venser could be good later. Frost Titan isn't going to be good for a while, but it could be also good with Mana Drain. So, I think if I have to pitch one of these cards, I think I'm still probably going to want it to be Stifle. Uh, I have to worry about balance. I guess Time Vault, the Vault Key combo is good with Stifle. Um, yeah, I think Stifle is what we don't want to see. It just doesn't do enough. I guess you could pitch it for, to Force Will. But by that logic, every card in my hand is good. Maybe I shouldn't have, um, I don't know, played Brainstorm at all. So um, now I definitely pass the turn with Mana Drain open. Keeping Venser and Frost Titan, I guess that might be questionable, especially given that there wasn't a land on top. I definitely want to draw a land next turn. And if I uh, use this fetch land... Um, I'm going to probably try to brainstorm, even during main phase, just to find another land and play it. The reason being so I can mana drain. He discarded Dragon Breath, which is an optimal card for him to discard. If there were a way for me to remove it, that would be pretty good. Yeah, so he's going to draw another card. That's going to be the way of things, it looks like. Yep. Um, so I'm going to wait till his end step, and I'm definitely going to pop this fetch. Find a Tundra. Now here's a question. Do I brainstorm now or do I do it during my main phase? Um, I get to go one card deeper during my main phase, and so I think I need to do that. Hmm. But if I don't hit a land, then I won't be able to mana drain, which I think is important. So the question is, if I don't draw a land, is that okay? I think because of all the mana drains I have, it's okay. So I'm not going to brainstorm during my main phase or during my end step. We have four lands gone from the deck. Um, out of uh, 21. No, that's his deck. I think out of 22, plus uh, Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt wouldn't be optimal to draw right now, obviously, though maybe later. Okay, we drew a Force Will, so that definitely isn't a land. Um, it is a card, though, that... So I have enough counter spells where where I feel like I can I can play a brainstorm right now, and hopefully I do hit a land, in the top three. If I don't, that's pretty bad actually. Okay, so we hit two lands. That's pretty good. Um, Snapcaster doesn't do anything right now. Um, Venser isn't going to do anything for a couple turns unless I want to pitch it, which I might to force a well actually. Um, it'll have some utility sooner than Frost Titan, but then with Mana Drain maybe I want to drop the Fro Frost Titan. That's kind of like a win con. Um, so I think Mana is going to go on the top of my library. I think Snapcaster goes under that. So I won't be Snapcasting probably for a while. I could see doing it next turn to the Brainstorm, but that seems poor. Um, I don't even know if I would want to end a turn Snapcasting to Brainstorm. I want to save it for a Counterspell. So, um, yeah, this Venser isn't going to do anything very exciting either. Oh, like I said, I might want to pitch it, though. So... Let's put, did I decide one mana drain on top? That seems right. <clears throat> Actually, is going to be potentially useful next turn. Playing magic is hard. And also, I'm probably, it, so it turns out that my mic is right next to the F2 key. Um, I didn't know that before. So I have to be very careful the way that I'm using my fingers while I'm talking. That's what she said. Um... Never mind. So let's see what happens here. Balance would not be that bad for me right now. 
can say that much. Um, maybe he's going for Vault Key. That's totally possible. His Lightning Bolts don't do that much against me. Um, Jace is another option. Okay, so he draws Strip Mind. That's kind of unpleasant. Especially since we already know I'm a little bit land light. He's probably being pretty smart not playing any spells, so I can't mana drain. He might do it during my upkeep or something. Um, I'm definitely going to play another land here. I do think landing a Frost Titan will make it very difficult for him to win if I can do that. Um, making it happen is a different story. I think right now what I actually should be worried about more than anything is my clock. Because you guys know how I play. Slowly. And very slow. Okay. Maybe he's going to try and hard cast a blight steel. He's got a tinker too, which is interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty happy with the way my hand looks, though. Though not having, I think that there, there's what a snapcaster on top. If he strip mines me, that's pretty bad. Um, he's gotten so many more cards than I have. Actually, he's got as many in his deck as I do right now. Hmm. So I guess I've seen about as many. Well, I've I've found two lands though, so that's not quite the same. Um. I bet he's going to play land and try to do something this turn, especially given how many cards he has in his hand. Okay, so we're definitely going to float here. If I can counter something that has three mana, that's cost, then I can still drop a Frost Titan in my turn and probably back it up. I do kind of wish I could be stifling this right now, to tell you the truth. Hmm, he's doing something that's kind of peculiar that he decided to do that now. Um, mana draining won't give me enough mana. I wonder if uh, actually the right play here is to play Venser and bounce it? He can play again. And then I could force it. But that's pretty bad. I think probably mana draining it is right. Especially since I'm mana draining something else now. But now, for sure, he's not going to play anything else, which makes sense. Kind of want to brainstorm. It's like that costs two blue, though. I would have to. I would really want to find another land on top. I can see three new cards. It costs me two of my mana. I leave one open. So I could mana drain if I find another card, right? I wonder if he's thinking about librarying. He's really going to be able to sculpt his hand. Probably has like a million force as well. Okay.
should think about something. I wonder if there's a way, okay, hang on. My brain is working in unfortunate ways. If I could counter something with a force of will and mana drain my own force of will, then in my main phase B, I get five mana. That's probably bad. I can only assume it's bad. I'd like to think that there is um, hmm, a blue mana source somewhere in the top of my deck. An island. Or a fetch land. Because <sighs> this awkward turn I have five available, two colorless, three blue. Doesn't do me much good. Maybe I should have just let the oath resolve. Take it though, he could play a Forbidden Orchard. That Strip Mine is actually what did a lot of damage to us. If that Strip Mine hadn't happened, I would feel pretty good right now. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again uh, and wait for our opponent to make a move. Okay, our opponent came back, um, and now I'm drawing the Snapcaster Mage, obviously. Um, so I think I have decided, because of the double force will back up, to take a chance and brainstorm here. Not sure if that's right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Snappy here. Maybe he would be more valuable later as another mana drain. It's very possible. He's not very much pressure, but I think finding other land right now is really important. So let's brainstorm. I don't know if our, maybe our opponent's just suffering extreme lag right now. So here's a question. When I played that Snapcaster, should I have forced it? No. The answer is just no to that question. Um, Yeah, so combination strip mine library is what really is uh, causing us to suffer this game. Oh man, there's an opportunity to kill library and stop him getting card advantage. I would say something like, the damage has already been done. Um, I'm not sure that's the case. I just think that maybe holding up mana drain right now might be much more important. Um, not sure. The way things are going, it sort of obligates him to cast something unless he wants to discard, which maybe he does. Um, it also removes a mana source, removing the library. I think I want to give him one more turn with the library, and um, yeah, finding three lands up there was great though. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely just go ahead and play this I or this island to to keep back a little bit more mana. So he draws, goes up to 9, plays a land, casts a spell, and he's down to 7 again. The bad part is I can't double force this turn. Right? Yeah, I can't double force and still play Frost Titan. Um, I mean, the Mana Drain would constitute one of those. So I only have two counter spells. I take it that he has the opportunity to cast a spell and have double counter back up too, which is basically the problem right now. Question is, should I let an oath resolve? Maybe I could have kept a brainstorm situation that would have allowed me to... Nah, probably not. I don't think I should. I am going to let that happen. That would give me enough mana to cast Frost Titan next turn, but it would be very hard to back up, I think. OK, 
hey, there's a demonic tutor. And what could he find with that? Could find like a balance. Find something that costs one mana. Well, that would be much less impressive. His mental missteps are really bad right now. I mean, it's possible that he just wants to shuffle. So I think maybe countering this is right to prevent him from shuffling away whatever is there with his brainstorm. Okay, so we're going to have six on our turn. But I'm not sure Frosty's going to resolve. Okay. So here's a question. What do I do? Because I only get one Force of Will backup. I definitely don't go to my attack stuff first. Um, I think what I do is not play Strip Mine first, because he doesn't have any... Yeah. I don't show him that I've got that. Um, so we just go ahead and we try this. I think we're going to see a lot of cards emptied from his hand. No. Okay. So here's the question. What do I keep tapped down here? Um, you could keep two of his heavy mana producers tapped down. I think what I should do is keep the library tapped down. Is, could that possibly be right? Yeah, because he has to find a way to deal with Frost Titan. I keep the library tapped down. Wow, does my guy potentially get haste? I did not think about this. <laughs> oh my god. I, no, he is the option. Okay, okay. Um, that's unfortunate. Kind of. Uh, that would have really been expecting, I think, uh, a little much for my current situation. So I definitely attack. Um, and I'm going to kill his tropical island, I think, immediately. Um, then again, Oath is the only card he can cast. Like, Balance is actually scary right now. Um, because Balance would kill both my guys. So, it's also possible that I want to... Maybe I don't even want to play Strip Mine to avoid the Balance situation. That can't be right, though. Um, my guess is that he's holding on to Balance right now. That's, that's my new hypothesis. Um, so I definitely want to play as many cards as I can, though. Black? What does Black do for him? Black doesn't do much for him either, except I guess get him closer to hard casting a Grizzle Brand, which I'm hoping I don't have to worry about. Oh. Tinker? Jace. Okay, so he's going to be able to brainstorm? I, I decided to let that resolve, obviously, because he can't do that. It's got Ice Shield. Okay, so I feel like... Hmm. I feel kind of bad because uh, he just lost his Jace, I guess, for no reason, really. Uh, I'm going to play this. Now I can hard cast a Force Will and I've got double counter backup. And I think the game is probably mine from now on. Oh, poor guy. He's playing at work to accommodate my schedule. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep, I think, tapping down the library. Because he can do it one more time. He's been a gentleman playing early in the morning his time. Loach Petal, we'll let that resolve. And I think after this, library is no longer a concern. Excuse me, library is no longer a concern. Um, so he's going to brainstorm with this, right? Um, so I think the task here... Do I even care about this card? It still can't bounce Frost Titan. And if it bounces Snapcatcher, that's good. I guess it can Fate Seal me. Um... I, I might just want to venture this. 
I actually think that might be right. I could also have bounced. Okay, well, we've got that game. Um, I'm not going to say GG because I know sort of like he was in a bad situation there, so I'll let him say it first if he wants. Um, I, I thought it was a good game. I, I apologize that his uh, Frost Titan error, um, you know, happened. I, th I think he probably boards out Lightning Bolts, maybe missteps. I don't know about that, though. Boards in uh, his red cards. Um, so I assume these are in there. I'm just going to go ahead and move them in there in my understanding of what's going on in his board state. What he boards out, he might board out a Staff in him, or maybe even a Steel Colossus. Uh, maybe. Don't know. So we need to think about what we're doing. I don't think Porcelain Legionnaire is exceptionally good against him. Hmm. I do think Spell Snare is good. And I think that Misstep is good. And I think that Annulls are also good. They What do they counter besides Oath? Um, actually, maybe they don't counter much besides Oath. I mean, they counter these. These are important combo pieces, I guess. Time Vault and Voltaic Key. So they're probably worth bringing in. Um, Ratchet Bomb is a fair question. Um, do we want to bring that in? Non-land permanents, huh? Which are just Oath for him. It's just a way to deal with Oath once it's on the board. I'm not sure that that's ideal. I think I'd rather keep it from hitting the board to begin with. Um, Engineer Explosives takes care of it anyway. So what cards do I want to bring out? Does Pithing Needle do much against him? If anything. Staff of Nin, Jace. It does stop Jace, but it stops my Jaces too. Um, it also stops Vault Key. So that's probably worth, worth keeping in. Um, unless he, I mean, he could be boarding out the Vault Key combo. Um, Steel Sabotage is much less exciting than a Null. Um, I think I'm going to board that out. Um, Trinket Mages, I mean, Graph Digger's Cage is excellent against him. I'm trying to figure out what, he, what to board out. Maybe the Glenelundras aren't exceptional, though they're pretty good to mana drain power out. They're kind of better than Frost Titan, I almost think. Um, I mean, Snapcasters aren't actually that impressive. They give them a creature, but, I mean, they're, they're card advantage. I mean, what you're seeing in some ways is my own weakness, figuring out what to do here. Um, like, my impression is that Steel Sabotage is weak. Stifle can deal with a fetch land activation, but it's highly situational. It can also deal with an Oath. Hmm. So let's go ahead and board out Stifle, just because I think it's the, one of the least flexible cards I have here. Pithing Needle might be... Eh, stops Vault Key, but... I guess he could be boarding that out. Um, it's the way it would go without a Graph Digger's Cage, though. A Null stops. I mean, maybe like Pithy Needle is just better than a Null. I don't think that, though. Uh, we're almost done here, time-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and board out an Null and an Into the Royal. Not sure if that's right at all. I had to make a decision quickly there because I didn't, didn't come prepared with what to do. Okay, so if he's got a first turn Oath, I have no way to interact with that. Though I do have two Spell Snares, which can be Mental Misstepped, to counter an Oath very quickly, or a Balanced Demonic Tutor, etc. This is not the strongest hand, and I actually don't have anything to follow that up with. Though if I draw something powerful, I can Mana Crypt it out. Um, I think... I think I have to mulligan this. I mean, this is a tough one for me. I don't have, like, a brainstorm or anything even to get me out of this. Um, I just don't think the smells, spell snares are versatile enough to make the hand by itself. Um, I actually think this hand is much better. <laughs> okay. So this one I have, like, this bizarre needle uh, top situation, and I think whichever one I play first is probably going to get countered, though I don't know if I want to play a needle for quite a while. Um... Um, one thing I can do is I can try to mana screw him with the needle, which might definitely be worthwhile. <laughs> okay, so now I understand what's going on. Uh, his boss just left. Uh, too bad that this is the situation he's in. Um, I, what I'm going to do here is uh, Misty Rainforest for land right away, uh, and then I'm going to try to drop a Pithing Needle. And uh, see if he lets it resolve, first of all. And I don't think he will without popping his Rainforest. Uh, but if he doesn't pop the Rainforest, I might just go ahead and name, like, I don't know, Voltaic Key? Maybe? Um, Time Vault, probably? 
Not sure about that play. Maybe Jace is the proper option. Um, or maybe I would rather just brainstorm instead of trying to mana screw him with a pithy needle when that's something he can probably get around. Um, though brainstorming isn't really extraordinary in the current situation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get down. I want to keep my top alive. That's sort of the situation I'm in. Um, let's play the Piffing Needle. See what happens. Nope, he popped it. Okay. So now I can just try to stop Vault Key with this card, which again, not extraordinary. Um, oh, okay. Could also try to name Jace, but I don't have to worry about that for a few turns. Maybe he's going to counter it. So we'll name Time Vault. Pass. Again, this is something he could have boarded out. Mana Vault, huh? Okay. Oh, well, maybe I should have tried to get this cage down. Okay, um, so this is going to be a Blightsteel Colossus. Obviously, if I had gotten caged down, this wouldn't be happening, but I assumed that I needed protected from mental misstep. Okay, never mind, he went for the Staff of Nin plan. Um, so he's going to be drawing a million cards here. Hmm. This is, like, bizarrely interesting. So, I'm going to brainstorm right now before doing anything else and see if I can find a way to defend a Graft Digger's Cage. Okay, brainstorm didn't resolve. So now let's just try to cast the Graft Digger's Cage. I think that's what I should do here. He already tinkered, though, so I don't have to worry about another tinker right away. Um... Maybe I try to get down the top. Because if he oaths next turn, like, I've got another turn to get down the cage. Alright, good. So I ate his other misstep. This frees me up for the oath plan. Now I just have to figure out a way to deal with the staff of none. Which is kind of humorous. Um, wonder what plan he's going with. Like, how's he going to kill me? Is he going to just try to defend a Jace, maybe? That actually seems like the most likely um, plan. I think killing an underground sea might be better than killing a forbidden orchard here. Then again, I got a mana drain. Okay, so here's what we do. We move to our attack step first thing. Especially because I don't want to gain any more colorless during my second main phase. Yeah, so we're going to get in there with this baby spirit, lady, ghost, hypno face. Could you guys hear me when I said that? I probably blocked up the mic. I didn't say anything interesting though. Just said it was attacking with this thing. And I think now what I try to do is just hold on to my let's name wizard. Maybe I should be naming Titan. It's unclear to me. Um, let's play this cage. My guess is that he's got a Force One on Jace in his hand right now. That's my new hypothesis. So he lets it hit. His turn is going to involve a Jace, almost assuredly. He didn't ping me. I think he forgot to ping. Or the Spirit. Or 
really wish I stole that into the Royal in my deck. Um, Oath? Yeah, that's okay. Doesn't do anything with Cage. Not sure what's happening. So he's got to get rid of this cage, right? He's drawing multiple cards a turn. I guess he's got nature's claim, so maybe maybe he's boarded those in her ancient grudges. So maybe that's what I really need to be watching out for. I like I don't feel like I'm in control of this game, even though I have like two hate cards out for each of his combos. I just don't feel very strong about the situation that's happening. Um, so I'm definitely going to go to my combat step, though. And I think that killing one of his lands has to be right, even though I still haven't hit Frost Titan mana. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Pick up. Um, yeah, I think, anyway. I, mean, I guess next turn I could draw a Glenalundra. I think this is right, though. I mean, I guess I could use this later to kill a library. That, that doesn't seem right. Um, kill this Tropical Island because of the possibility of nature's claim, though. Even though Double Forbidden Orchard, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's just wrong. He did Demonic Tutor already. I'm not sure what he looked for. I imagine a Jace, but... Maybe scared of Force of Will. I don't feel like this game's under my control, I should say. I mold into, I would say, playable though unexciting hand, the brainstorm that I cast getting mental misstepped. Um, yeah. So there's a mental misstep. Uh, I'm definitely gonna drop this land. I know it would be okay to keep my hand for a brainstorm, but um, well, maybe I just shouldn't have dropped it. Yeah, actually, playing that land may have been wrong. I mean, I guess, though, if I draw multiple, if I draw a Brainstorm, um, or something. Oh, God, what's happening? I let that resolve, by the way, because I'm much more concerned about um, Nature's Claim. He doesn't have any shuffle effects out, so the brainstorm there actually doesn't seem very good. I guess using Oath of Druids might actually have constituted a shuffle effect, though, of some kind. I don't know, so maybe, maybe I should have count, uh, countered the brainstorm because of his Oath of Druids. So what would just happen is that he would mill until he hit a Grizzle Brand or a Blightsteel, and the Blightsteel would go shuffle his deck and, or shuffle back into his deck, rather. And the um, Grizzlebrand would just sit in his graveyard. So he could get to a position where he can hard cast Grizzlebrand, and that might be what he's doing. And I guess I really should have chosen Staffen then with this Pithy Needle. Though if he'd actually um, trink uh, tinkered out a Blight Seal, I think it would have just lost the game. I mean, maybe the reason he didn't do it was because I could. Frost Titan it? But I mean I can Frost Titan that too. I'm not I'm not sure why he didn't do that. He must have boarded out Blight Steel. That's my best guess. Like looking at his deck, I think everything that his staff of Nin does, the Blight Steel classes does better in that situation. Unless I have creature removal in particular. Um, but I didn't really, so I guess I'm not sure of the logic of that move. Um, I don't know if you can hear what's going on outside. I don't know what it is. It sounds like there's a semi-truck just parking out there. 
So you guys doing well? Watching a lot of classic? Oh god, Tropical Island, what's happening? He's getting close to that hardcast Grizzle brand. He's got six out, needs eight? Pinging me? Why is he doing that? Is he gonna Yawgmas Will? Oh, maybe that's what's gonna happen. No, so why did he main phase ping me? I thought maybe he would Yawgmas Will and try to tinker away the staff of Nen? This is really curious. My, I don't know, maybe my opponent is stressed out right now in a situation where he can't really focus on the game. We just drew a Snapcaster though, which is a Brainstorm, or I guess one of the counter spells in our hand. I'm going to keep it for in the interest of flexibility. Especially since it just dies to staff and then and he has like the freedom right now to sculpt his hand kind of however he wants um, soul ring I think that's fine by me one two three four five six I mean, he can hard cast a gristle brand at this point if he wants to do it. Not gonna brainstorm right now without a fetch land. It would just be like drawing a single card. Another one? He doesn't have a shuffle effect besides oath, and he can't oath unless he gives me tokens, which would be fine. I mean, then he could kill them, but. He didn't do that last time, so I take it he's not going to do it again this time. It was a weird time to do it, too. Okay, we draw another counter spell. Um, so, I'm not sure of the situation. I'm just going to go ahead and pass the turn. My guess is that what could happen is that we're going to get into a fight over a hard cast Grizzle Brand, which there's only one in his deck, but I mean, he could have it in his hand. Maybe he's just waiting for an Ancient Grudge or something. I don't know, he's used a Demonic Tutor, he's got a Vampiric still in the deck. Um, now, now he does have a uh, Fetch Land to shuffle, so... In some ways I think that means that the Brainstorm is probably worth countering. Okay, this is going to be presumably worth countering. What can he do with this? He can read Demonic Tutor, so he can get any card in his deck, and also the same turn he can Mental Misstep my, smell, my Spell Snare or Mental Misstep um, on top of Brainstorming a million times. So I think this is a must counter. Um, could be wrong. I'm in a situation where not really in good shape. So let's just make this happen. Um, okay. So we can actually counter that. I'm going to pay the two life because of spell snare and uh, snapcaster. So, like, I think the ideal play in his part would be to counter the Mana Drain again right now. Instead of letting anything resolve. Because now I have the option of snap casting the Mental Misstep. Okay, sure. Oh, it's our turn already. We draw a Caracas. Um, the question is, do I want to play that ahead of time? I don't know. Um... So like I could, what could I do? I could brainstorm right now. Um, I think this guy's better as a uh, anything else, <laughs> essentially. So Caracas makes it really hard for him to win with Grizzlebrand, which is good. Um, I have to play it now though because if he has the ability to get into play, he might be able to even uh, Dragon Breath it. Like you just hard cast the Dragon Breath on top of it. So I need to play the Caracas ahead of time. Yeah, you could strip mine it, but, um, I mean. Not really sure what's going to happen in this game. He's looking for something. I 
I might want to snapcast a brainstorm um, at some point. Don't think I will. Okay, so let's try something good. That's something good, but um, maybe I want to wait until I can definitely counter whatever he does. Because he's got to have a... Well, I mean, I guess if he has a mana drain, I can counter that and then make him blow a force of will too. Um, but landing this Jace is probably really good. Um, and so maybe... But but I, he's going to be drawing two cards a turn. So I he's never going to tap out. Um, so my guess is that playing this right now is actually better than any other alternative. A hard cast force to well, yeah. Actually, that's going to be uncounterable for me. That makes a lot of sense. So, I mean, maybe I should have thought that one through a little bit more. Draining a force will feels pretty good, but um, it was my own error there, forgetting that basically hard casting it was an obvious option for him. Um, I could have held on to it. Not sure what it would have done then either. Okay, so that can untap a staff of men. Turns out that I pithy needled the wrong thing. Um, actually, something that Oto wrote recently in one of his articles on Classic is that uh, um, Time Vault is actually pretty good to allow, even on its own. Like, it, it definitely serves a function. It's not, like, awesome. I'm going to have to play this, too. Um, but it's not a bad card. And the rationale for that is that um, you, can, you can sort of organize the tempo of the game in your favor just the time fall out. And that's what I was thinking when I named, when I played Pith and Needle. I really did not think he was going to go for Staff of Nin. And still to be honest, I if he'd just gone for a Blight Steel, I wouldn't have any way out of this situation. I mean, I guess like if I bounce his Staff of Nin, um, he can replay it sooner than Blight Steel. But at this point in the game, it's like he's just going to be able to hard cast a Blight Steel. Um, yeah, now he's just eating my life away. I'm going to need to do something about that Staff of Nin soon, which I guess basically just means Venser, since I boarded out all my good options. Um, again, maybe that's a moot point, though, because I didn't think Staff of Nin was a viable option for him in this game. I mean, he's got to win soon, right? I don't know why he's taking so long. Like, he's got to kill me. He's getting down on the clock. I don't really want to time out a classic opponent in this PRE. Like, that's not cool. Um, I'm not trying to time him out, but I don't think I've lost this game yet. Even if I get if I get Venser now, I can just crack us him back infinitely. Okay, so we have another counter spell. Um, <sighs> I mean, that's actually good to draw, because if I eventually get to a point where I can't actually land a serious threat, I want the ability to back it up. Staff of Nin is currently the thing that's going to kill me, of course. Um, so, yeah. I need to be able to bounce that sooner the Venser, I guess. Okay. I mean, I recognize that what he's doing requires a lot of clicking, so it's kind of unfortunate that he's down so low on the clock. Not sure why he would play that at all. Um, unless he's going to, like, hard cast a... Okay, there's another counter spell. Um, really don't know why he played a Mana Crypt. Okay, so I take it that the game's going to end very soon now that he's Vampiric Tutoring, though that actually makes it so that I could, in theory, win in three turns. Um... No, he won. Okay, so um, <laughs> I guess my success there isn't quite going to... What, what is happening here? Is he going to just be hard casting a Blight Steel? I guess I'll try to mana drain that. 
Um, now I still have mana to mana drain again. Or do something else. If he tries to mana drain my mana drain. Yeah, come on, give me some spirit tokens. This, that's really good for me. So he's mana draining my mana drain. Um, okay, so what are my options here? I can spell snare that, and then I can still mental misstep, uh, or I can force a will. So I'm definitely going to spell snare this. Okay, now he is forcing, exiling a force, targeting the spell snare. Um, I'm going to let that happen. I don't see any reason not to. Um, oh, man. Um, okay. Okay, so I, I'm going to let this happen. Um, and then it gets my spell center in the graveyard, and then I can try to spell center this again. And that's better than using my force of will because it does the same thing. Uh, I wouldn't have any cards that other way anyway. So let's cast this gentleman and target Spell Snare. Um, and he concedes the game. Um, not sure what's going on, but uh, that's, that's our round. So thanks for watching so much.